Barclay Slade just turned 80 years old, and in a conversation that I had with her the other day, the subject came up that she had some old photographs that her father-in-law brought back with him after World War II. She was concerned because many of these pictures could have historical value, and, and they're pretty bad in, in terms of uh, condition. They're, they're declining rapidly. These photographs were all taken after the bombing at both Hiroshima and Nagasaki, about two months after the actual bombing. And there's a cleaned up version of the last picture. Quite a bit better. Very, very sad. Many of these images were very hard to see and I, I was afraid I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get any detail at all. Still hard to see, but considerably better. It was very interesting for me to do this project because trying to make out what was actually there sometimes showed itself clearer when I did the uh, digital enhancement. Well, that's an interesting picture. There's a, a wreck of a building over in the background there that looks like it was completely incinerated, but I'm assuming that the blast was off to the right of it and it came by because the, the buildings that seem to have been protected by this large incinerated structure seem to be in better condition. It's, uh, I, I can only imagine, I can only imagine. The back of this image said Major Sorensen. Fortunately, there is writing on many of these images. I have about 50 of them to deal with. I'm just going to be showing about uh, oh, 10 or 12 of, of them on the first start here. I especially like this image. It said, giving chocolate to the children. This it was only two months after the bombing. You can see uh, the look of eagerness for the candy and, and desperation and the hardship in, in all these children's faces. I can only imagine what they saw in the last few months of their, of their life. Now this was an interesting picture. I had no idea. I was looking at this and all the people seemed to be fairly well dressed up. You can tell that the background has been completely destroyed, but there are people in suits. There are people that are all dressed up. It's a it's a very large crowd to this one fairly intact building. On the back it said, they're all waiting for a free movie that the US military brought in for them to watch. This was a tough image. I could barely see this one. Amazing what the computer can do. It can find stuff in there that uh, you, you couldn't possibly see with the naked eye. This image was pretty dark. So I lightened it up a little bit and you could see some of the stuff inside the store there. This is in Hiroshima. Now I thought this picture was fascinating. I can't quite figure out what it is. I can see three people on the left and three people on the right. Now let me clean this up so you can see it. There we go. So there's a total of eight people working on this. There's two pulleys that are pulling this plunger of sort that has a weight on it that comes pounding down. It's almost like a pile driver. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're driving piles into the ground or maybe it's some sort of a digging apparatus. But uh, I, I find this picture just, just fascinating. So do the children. Sad when you see the skeletal remains of some of the buildings. You can only imagine what was there before. The back of this picture said Ernest in his blue uniform. You can tell that there was a lot of destruction in the background. It said Tokyo, and I believe they bombed Tokyo as well, so maybe this is in a bombed out part. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this is the person that owned all the photographs, and this is Barclay Slade's father-in-law, taken, it said, in December of 1945. So, my name is Blair Glenn. I hope to continue with this project, and uh, thanks for watching.